Even if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, you still can't eat with a clear conscience because your diet implicates you in violence. Now, we often hear meat eaters argue, just because you don't hear them scream doesn't mean you're not killing plants, and so you're no better than us. That argument has some truth to it, although distinctions should be made between the life of an animal and the life of a plant, just as we distinguish between the life of a human and that of an animal. But true, being a vegetarian or even a vegan doesn't let those who shun meat off the hook. A plant-based diet is not a violence-free diet, not a karma-free diet, not a sin-free diet. Sure, the law of life is that lower species are food for the higher, so all creatures eat other living things. In Sanskrit, that's called jivo, jivasya, jivanam. But because animals are bound by instinct, Vedic wisdom dictates that they don't incur sin for their eating habits, be they fierce tigers or timid deer. But we humans have a developed intelligence with which to recognize that our food has a right to life and that our food is provided for us by a creator, the creator who provides for every species. Therefore, it's only the creator who can absolve us from the inevitable offenses involved in our eating habits. So, using our superior reasoning power, we need to turn to the Creator for His protection and forgiveness, and that's done by offering words of thanks for our food and an appeal for amnesty for the violence involved in our meals. For those who would suggest that they can offer thanks for meat products, I'm sorry to inform you, that God does not absolve the sin of killing animals. He only forgives eating plant-based produce. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, if one offers me with love and devotion, a leaf, a flower, fruit, or water, I will accept it. When the Creator says, I will accept it, it means he also accepts the reaction to the lesser violence involved in taking plant life. And in the same text, Krishna points out that those who eat food without offering thanks fall in the category of thieves. So the way that you can be nonviolent and live by the principle of ahimsa is that before every meal, in your own way, you offer the Creator words of thanks and ask to be pardoned for whatever offense your eating has incurred. Then you can take your seat and dine with a clear conscience.